Well, your father and I thought that... Well, the truth of the matter is, there just won't be any turkey this year. The Johnsons didn't have any turkey. Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of the Vegan Vandal Holiday Edition. The only vegan cooking show that uses the word shit damn, motherfucker, and cocksucking whore. On this episode, we answer the question of a vegan who writes, Hey man, I was just invited by the girl I'm dating to Thanksgiving where I'll be the only vegan. Do you have any recipes that'll help me seal the deal with this girl and her family? MonkeyButt69 Well thanks for the question, MonkeyButt69. And yes, I have a vegan panty dropper recipe just for you. Today we're making vegan chicken pot pie. Let's do the damn thing. There will be none of this going on this year. I'm making a damn pie for you fine people and you're gonna love it. So we'll start off by making the crust. You're gonna need flour, vegan butter, and ice water. And of course the entire recipe is in the show notes so don't forget to check that out. So I've started off here by dumping my flour into a bowl and I've got a cheese grater and some frozen vegan butter sticks. I'm just gonna shred these into the flour occasionally stirring to distribute that butter evenly. Now I try to avoid oil in my cooking as often as possible but this is a holiday meal so fuck that noise. I've got two sticks of vegan butter in this recipe and they're both necessary. I've just shredded all that butter into my flour and I'm adding in ice water about a tablespoon at a time and mixing that dough together with my hands. Go slow during this process. Add as little water as possible. You don't want to end up with a goopy, sticky mess. So your dough is going to look like this. It should hold together firmly, but it shouldn't be sticky. We're going to put that in a bag and store it in the fridge while we move on to step two, making some cashew cream. So usually I let my cashews soak overnight, but if you forget to do that, you can simply boil your cashews for about 15 minutes and you'll get the same effect. Of course, if you have a Blendtec or Vitamix, you can skip the soaking or boiling altogether. If you got a shitty blender though, don't skip this step. So after you take those cashews off the heat, just dump them into the blender and fill the blender with water to about an inch above the cashews. Blend that and you'll be good to go in no time. Check it out guys, those are my nuts in the blender. Boom! Cashew cream! Now that we have that out of the way, we're going to get back to the dough. I've put some parchment paper down and I'm flouring my work surface. You could just do this on a clean table or counter, but I don't trust my cleaning skills. Now take the dough and we're going to cut it in half. One half is the top crust and the other is the bottom. We're going to roll out the bottom half now, so flour your rolling pin and roll that out until it's wide enough to fit on your pie dish. Yeah, that looks about right. Perfect. So once you have that bottom crust on, just clean up the edges a bit with a knife. You can also use this time to fix any holes or gaps with the excess dough. Now roll out the top crust the same way, but set it aside for now until we're done with the filling. The star of our pie is one package of Guardian Chicken Scallopini, but those veggies ain't no slouch either. You could even skip the Guardian chicken altogether for a veggie pot pie. We'll start off our filling by peeling and cutting our potato into small cubes, and we'll dice our onion too. Next we'll cut our package of scallopini into strips and then cubes. By the way, I forgot to mention that these are defrosted. Before we start cooking our filling, I want you to preheat your oven to 375 so we can pop the pie in as soon as we're done. I'm going to fire up a small pot and toss in some oil and onion with some thyme. I just want this to sweat a little bit before I add my Guardian, and I'm going to hit that with a little poultry seasoning and rosemary. So once the chicken looks a little bit less anemic, we're going to go ahead and toss in our potatoes, carrots, peas, two cups of cashew cream, and some water. You can also use veggie broth. I'm going to hit that with some nooch, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Right about now, it's going to be pretty liquidy, so we're just going to let that liquid reduce to a creamy consistency. Yeah, that looks about right. We're in the home stretch now, guys. All we have to do is fill up our pie, put the top crust on, crimp the edges with our fingers, and then with a fork, Pop a few holes into the top crust and pop it into the oven. Bake that for 30 minutes or so and you'll find yourself with a delicious vegan chicken pot pie that will get you laid. I guarantee it. Or at the very least, it'll get me laid when I pull it off better than you. Now that's something to be thankful for. But I'll bet you one thing, if we really think over what we have to be thankful for, when we sit down to whatever mother fixes to eat tomorrow, we'll be one family in America that will really have a Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs>